In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple floor plan, and we're going to assign some different colors, do some subdividing, and also do some extruding. So we're going to build something kind of like this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start off with a new document. And the first thing I'm going to do is just press X to delete that box. And then I'm going to go up to Add, Mesh, and go to Plane. And then I'm going to press the letter S, and then the number 9 and then press return. That'll just create the size that we kind of want. Then I'll go ahead and go to edit mode. So I can press tab or just go in here and then right mouse click and do a little subdivide. And before I click on anything else, I'm going to come down here to number of cuts and type in a 60. So I get uh, enough area to kind of cut out with. So now I want to kind of just uh, click off to the side and then I'll go ahead and press on my Z axis so I'm looking straight down on this and what I'm going to do is just kind of lay out just some sort of um, floor plan for maybe five rooms or something so if I click on one face uh, and hold down shift that takes a long time but if I hold down control uh, I can grab a strand and just kind of go around and just get this floor plan of whatever I want it to look like so um, once again I'm holding down uh, control and just kind of lets me grab a strand uh, around there so I get the whole out part the exterior walls so once I've done that I want to do some interior walls too so for that I'm going to do a shift so I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and then let go and then go back to control and kind of do the interior walls so I'll do that again hold down shift hold down control um, and just kind of keep doing that until I get that going. So shift. And if you do accidentally click off of everything, Command Z, undo to um, reselect uh, that and everything. So hold down shift, control. So I think I'll just start with that. So now I've got these this basic floor plan selected. And uh, once I have that, then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of, actually let me do one more, so shift and then control, so now I've got my rooms. So now that I've got that, I want to add a little bit of color, so to do that, uh, if you come up here to this guy, or you could have also pressed Z and go to look dev, and I'm just going to start to add some color, so I'm going to go to this little beach ball material icon looking thing and click new and I think I'll do my first base color and just choose maybe a green and then I'll go ahead and click on the plus and get new again and then I'll just choose maybe a red uh, and I'm gonna name this so if I can name this I'm gonna name this walls uh, I'll name this one up here maybe grass um, and then just kind of go from there. So now that I have my two colors, uh, what I have selected, I want to um, select and uh, assign it. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that. So now I have my walls uh, selected. Uh, and one nice thing about color is if you deselect off of things, uh, you can click back on your color and just click select and it automatically reselects that. So that's another reason that it's nice to do a little bit of color. Um, going from here on out. Okay, so now I'm ready to do some to actually bring up those walls. So I'm going to go ahead and click select because I deselected them and I'm going to go ahead and press E to extrude and I want to do this in three phases. So E to extrude and that's going to be uh, to the bottom of my windows. So maybe about there and then E to extrude. So this will be to the top of my doors and then E to extrude uh, so that I can now have room for the door header and everything. So now I have my walls and I want to change those to a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new color and click new. Uh, I'll name this uh, something else. I probably should name this walls if I could spell. And then maybe I'll just name this top or something like that. Um, and you can name these whatever you want. Okay, so now I've got that, and then I'll go ahead and change that to a different color. 
So now changing the color, that's kind of a pain. So uh, probably the easiest way to do this is come up here to this X, just click on that, get on a straight view. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on wireframe mode, click off of everything, and press the letter B to block select it. And what that does, that allows me to select just the walls. So if I go back and look, now my walls are selected, so that was a kind of an easy way to select them. And then click assign, and now all my walls are assigned to that. So from here, now I can just kind of add windows and doors, um, and I'm just going to create some new colors for those. So maybe I'll do windows, and then um, choose a color, just do a blue. So now I just kind of go in here and just kind of, so I'm holding down shift for this to kind of select some areas for windows. Um, if I want to do doors, same type of thing. Um, but let's create another color for that. So click on new, and just give that a darker color. I'll just name that doors. And then I'll just go ahead and assign that. So you just kind of go around your, your whole floor plan and just kind of start laying those out. So windows, if I want a door over here. And kind of just keep going from there, and that'll get you going on your floor plan.